Right, we've got Mark White with us just before the game against uh, Daly Chamberlain. How are you, Mark? Yeah, fine, mate, thanks. Quick and fast, the games are coming, aren't they? Thick and fast, yeah, exactly, mate. Yeah, they really are. So, uh, should be a good crowd here today. They're expected about 1,800, I hear. Yeah, brilliant, eh? Fantastic. With the bank holiday Monday, which will be good, yeah. yeah. So, uh, right, uh, Saturdays, uh, bef just have a little chat about Saturday. Obviously, we had a chat anyway after the game. So, what after you come home and digested everything, what was your what was your thoughts still the same? What was your thoughts? Yeah, I think I called it right, really. I think, um, I think you always look for positive spin on things. I think to know that we're in the playoffs with two weeks notice is quite a big deal and um, to know that we've you know got that second place really is a really big deal as well it means we're able to plan accordingly make sure that any individuals that need a tiny break can get one and that gives the management team a complete focus on the strategy for two weeks sure. we um in terms of the season i mean i'm just immensely proud really of uh, of how we've done we need to remember the season's not done the objective was promotion and that objective now is still there and it's two home games away from promotion so the objective's not changed it, it was promotion we've achieved the, the first part which is the home playoff game and uh, the boys have done phenomenal to be in that position given the year we've had of not just um to be honest not just injuries i think we've had some definitely some really bad officiating this year along the way guys we're always fair with officials and they don't like it when we moan but you have to be honest about it it, it has been poor and you know countless offside goals and things recently yeah you know it, which, which don't help your cause but yeah six points they would have been in the bag yeah so listen it's um we're focused on ourselves and and we had a torrid injury crisis what not once but twice maybe three times so it's been difficult this season but it's now time to forget about that yeah the boys are back we've got Cam Black here back back from Leatherhead player of the season, of the season mate, um, yeah. he's Quality. back in the fold you know we've got a fully fit squad borderline um, without Briggsy Wes and Nicky uh, they should be training this week coming back from minor niggles um, looking forward to today, looking forward to Hungerford, looking forward to getting ready for uh, the semi-final. Definitely. Look, obviously, we only need one point to uh, to secure that second place. Plus, we need four goals to hit 100. Second club to do it in history. So, there's a couple of things that we still we can do it and it would be account for a good season. Yeah, I'd love, I'd love to get that 100 goals. I think that the team deserve it, you know, because if you score 100 goals and your sort of talisman striker misses half the season, it just There's shows how good the, the team is, <laughs> yes. you know. Um, so, yeah, we're really, um, we're. I just think there's so many positives about the club, isn't there? Look at the, look at where we are now. We've got a, we've got a, a new ladies section. We've got a TV crew down here today. BBC follow, following them. The crowds have doubled almost, you know. Everyone's right behind us. We've got everybody knows we've got the best squad in the league, and uh, we play probably the best football. We're just in a great place, to be honest, and, and we have to remember that all the time. So, looking forward to Dulwich, I've got to say, we've become unlikely good friends, really. I don't know why unlikely, maybe, I don't know, for, for some reason, I'm not so sure that people thought Dulwich and Dawkins wanted to get on, but we had a fantastic time. The most hospitable club probably we've been to, but a really good evening down there, place felt really welcome by their fans and committee, and we want to return that today. Um, to them today and uh, but obviously what I'm looking for is is you know all the boys to be really switched on and the big message I've given them is you know I'm looking for incremental improvements now I always hold stuff back me like I'm not um, I won't I won't make every single game a song and dance if that makes sense yeah, yeah. because it's good when you need to hold something back and call on something you know so there, there's things we can we can now work on for two weeks where the boys can put an extra 15 percent on their game i really believe that and um and i'm really excited for them mate to be honest and for the club definitely what do you expect from dallas they're not in the greatest of form they've lost their last six games that way they haven't won for 10 i know that the <laughs> same with St Albans on Saturday, but uh, yeah, you know what? What are you going to expect from? And they're quite an aging squad as well. They've quite got old, old, old players. So, you know, what's your what, what are you predicting well, for them? Uh, then? Well, so speaking to Cads um, Junior, he's he's disappointed 
that was in a good position at Christmas. It was a very close league all season, wasn't it, really? And um, But they'll be disappointed. I think no pressure on them. I think today's the first official day that they're playing for nothing. Yes. I think it was only Saturday's results that meant that they was out out the mix of the plus. But they'll be disappointed. But I think, to a degree, they had a bit of a bit of a mini rebuild after Covid. I think the club was in not a good position post Covid, one of the clubs that suffered the most because don't forget all of their income is their crowds. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think they, this year they should be quite pleased really as, as to how they've coped off the field and actually in Gavin and Cads, definitely two of my sort of favourite managers, really good people, uh, you don't mind sharing a touchline with them at all, good people, don't cheat. You know, um, they do things the right way. So I'm expecting maybe a pressure off performance, which might make them a difficult team to play against today. Well, but talking about the team, what? So I know there's been quite a few changes in the team from Saturday. Uh, th thoughts behind that? Well, we're looking to keep momentum, obviously, but th that's one thing. But a Saturday Monday turnaround is always tough. So the boys that were the stiffest. Jason, McShane, um, a few others there, that, that, that uh, Dan Gallagher, Gallagher yeah, yeah we, we've left them out and they're, um, yeah, they're here today and they're doing a warm-up, but that's how great the squad is, I mean, today we've got Fuller, Harris and Kennedy at the back, I, I think pre-season, that was our first choice. It was. So, yes. um, yeah, so I think there's a... Who's in goal? Uh, Slav's in goal. Um, yeah, so Morrow comes into midfield with Josh Taylor, Niall and Bobby on the flanks, and Harry Ott away, who's done really well up top with Alfie. And I just thought it's a real lot, load of balance to that team today. And I think it'd be a really good game, really good game. Bench? Bench is Sammy, Kane, Jimmy, um, who's uh, struggling a bit with, he's played a lot of football, Jimmy, so yeah. that's why he's on the bench there. And a few, he's done well, I feel. He's done, he's done well in he's the last well, few games. Yeah, he's yeah. done well, he's done well completely. He does really well down here. I think it's a good game, it's a good one for the, you know, having two home games yeah. and that. He's very good down here, Jimmy, on the 3G and pitch a little bit tighter and he's good in tight areas. Um, so yeah, the bench is, um, um, Isaac's on the bench as well. So strong bench, really good 11, and a load of boys not playing. And it'll just see how far we come. But you've got to remember is, this is our third, year in the league yeah. we got to the semi-final of the playoffs in year one yeah. we was winning it with a full fit squad five points Damon and year two yeah. and we're borderline going to finish runners up and be in a home semi-final year three 100%. not too bad mate is it it's bad, not, not too, too bad, bad, not um, too bad we have big expectations and and we, we should always keep them because that's what drives us forward do you know what i mean 100%. so looking forward to today mate now it's just about upward trajectory in, in going into that game in two weeks time okay well thanks for your time Mark. Cheers, mate. good luck today i'll catch up with you <coughs> cheers guys